Hello everyone, I am Fahmina Malik and in this video I am going to present my work on revenue sharing on the internet, a case for going soft on neutrality regulations, done in collaboration with Professor Manjesh, Professor Yezakeel and Professor Jayakrishna Nair. The rapid growth of data intensive services has resulted in massive increase of the internet traffic which is expected to grow at faster rate in future. To accommodate this increased traffic and to provide better quality of service for end users, ISPs need to perform expensive upgradations to the network infrastructure to expand capacity and guarantee low latency. Internet access fast turning into a low margin and high volume commodity item, ISPs are finding it extremely difficult to recover their investment cost. On the other hand, the revenue of CPs have seen steady growth mainly from the subscription as well as from advertisement supported services. This asymmetry creates pressure of the surplus transfer from CPs to ISPs as we have seen in the case of Netflix and Comsnet in 2014. Now such surplus transfer may also benefit CP as CP may have uh, incentive to contribute to capacity expansion as increased capacity triggers uh, better quality of service and higher demand and thus in turn higher revenue for them. There are many examples of such surplus transfer direct or indirect between CPs and ISP. Such bilateral arrangement between CPs and ISP have been criticized because of the violation of net neutrality. Even though bilateral business arrangements between CP and ISP that entail local caching, bandwidth expansion or service bundling do not legally constitute neutrality violations, they clearly have the impact on skewing the CP marketplace. If the content of one CP load faster or it is provided for free, then that would drive the consumption away from the competitor of that CP. This makes it harder for a smaller CP who may not be able to afford such arrangement to grow their uh, user base. Thus, activists have argued that strong neutrality regulations that this allows the fragmentation of internet into slow and fast lanes and provide comparable quality of service to all applications and services. The goal of our work is to shed light on the interplay between revenue sharing arrangements between CPs and ISP and strong neutrality regulations. We propose a revenue sharing mechanism whereby CPs commit to share a proportion of their revenue with an ISP giving the ISP the incentive to make investment that improve quality of service for the CPs content which in turn would result in a higher consumption of the content by user and higher revenue for that CP. We focus on interaction between monopolistic ISP connecting end users to multiple CPs using stackle per game. We distinguish two cases for the effort made by ISP. We refer non-neutral case as the case where ISP is allowed to make different amount of effort for each CP and we refer neutral case where ISP is constrained to make equal amount of effort for all CPs. Specifically in our model we have n CPs and a single ISP that connects n users to the content of the CPs. Each CP can enter into a revenue sharing contract with the ISP whereby ISP commits to make effort AI for each CPI. Because of this effort AI, each CPI experience increase in the demand by DI and increase in the revenue XI. And in return, CPI agrees to share the part of the resultant increase in its revenue SI XI with the ISP. We model the interactions between CPs and ISP as a leader follower Stackelberg game with the CP acting as leaders and ISP acting as a follower. We assume contract type to be of linear form and demand increase to be of logarithmic in effort AI by law of diminishing gains. Each CP monetizes its demand with some rate RI. CP leads by announcing the revenue share contract which is beta I, the fraction of revenue shared by CPI with the ISP. Then ISP responds to these contracts by determining its effort level AI. Now as defined earlier, in the neutral regime, ISP is constrained to put equal efforts across all CPs, that is AI should be same for all CPs. While on the other hand, in the non-neutral regime, ISP can put different effort for each CPI. Here we obtain that in the neutral regime, effort for any CP 
depends on the contribution or revenue shared by all other CPs as well. However, in the non-neutral regime, it depends only on the revenue shared by that particular CP. We first study the symmetric CPs case where CPs have same monetization rates RI. We analyzed neutral versus non-neutral regime at equilibrium and we have some interesting findings which are that CPs share a higher fraction of their revenue with the ISP in the non-neutral regime and in fact effort by ISP for each CP is also higher in the non-neutral regime and CPs as well as ISP are better off in the non-neutral regime as compared with the neutral regime. This implies that when CPs have same monetization power, strict neutrality is suboptimal for everyone including ISP. Now why everyone is suffering by neutrality? Intuitively the reason for this strategy of commons is that imposition of neutrality skews the payoff landscape for each CP such that the benefit of every additional investment by CP is shared across all the CPs which then induces CPs to commit smaller revenue share to ISP in the neutral regime. And such outcome arises because of the non-cooperative framework resulting in equilibria that are worse for all the players. We next study the impact of number of CPs and on the equilibrium. In the non-neutral regime, the interaction between the different CPs and ISP are decoupled, implying that the impact of scaling N is trivial. Thus, we focus on the neutral regime. Here we prove that the share proportion by each CP decreases in N. We also prove that overall effort increases by ISP, but effort for each CP by ISP decreases with N. Also, surplus of CPs and ISP decreases in N and tends to zero as N tends to infinity. This implies that as the number of CPs increases, the surplus from additional contribution by CP get split further which further induces CPs to offer less fraction of revenue share to ISP. We next consider the case of asymmetric CPs where monetization rate of each CP differs from each other. For comparison purpose, we focus on two CP case with R1 greater than R2. Here we observed similar results as in the symmetric case. We found that the dominant CP is always better off in the non-neutral regime, while the non-dominant CP gets benefited in the neutral regime when asymmetry between them is high, as it doesn't have to share revenue with ISP and get to free ride on the contribution made by dominant CP. In case of ISP, it is also mostly better off in the non-neutral regime and also social utility which is the sum of utilities of all CPs and ISP is also high in the non-neutral regime. Here we found that neutrality hurts everyone except non-dominant Now the reason for such outcome is that at equilibrium in the neutral regime when asymmetry is high between CPs, the non-dominant CP free rides on the contribution made by dominant CP and doesn't share its revenue with the ISP. Here neutrality constraint forces dominant CP to pay for all the capacity investment and non-dominant CP doesn't pay at all. So far we observe that neutrality doesn't benefit anyone except non-dominant CP which gets to free ride in case of asymmetric CPs. So to overcome this we propose intermediate level of constraint which allow ISP to differentiate quality of service provided for the content of different CPs to a limited extent. We call this intervention as soft neutrality in which regulator specifies a threshold row between 0 and 1 such that ISP is constrained to satisfy the constraint given by min of AI should be greater than equal to row times of max of AI for all CPIs. Note that row being 0 implying the non-neutral regime and row being 1 implying the neutral regime. Further, as a regulatory intervention, we also propose CPs to come together and bargain at transparent platform to overcome tragedy of common effect arising due to non-cooperative nature. In the Nash bargaining, we take disagreement point as the CP utilities when they act non-cooperatively, that is the Nash equilibrium between the CPs. 
Applying these interventions, we observe in asymmetric case that with soft neutrality constraint, free riding is taken care of as non-dominant CP also share its revenue and as a result, utilities of CP, ISP and social utility improves as compared to the neutral regime. With both soft neutrality and bargaining, utilities are boosted further and in fact, ISP utility is even higher than the non-neutral regime for certain range of rope. Social utility also closely matches with that of non-neutral regime for certain range of rope. This shows that soft neutrality and bargainings help overcome free riding and tragedy of common impact in asymmetric CP's case. In fact, for the symmetric CP case, we found that with both these interventions, utility matches with that of the non-neutral regime. Now summarizing, we propose revenue sharing contract using leader-follower interaction and compare neutral and non-neutral scenario. We found that imposing neutrality tends to hurt everyone in symmetric CP case due to tragedy of common and it only benefits non-dominant CP in asymmetric case due to free riding resulting in lower utilities. As a regulatory measure to overcome free riding, we propose intermediate level of constraint on ISP which we refer as soft neutrality which gives better utilities than the neutral regime. We further propose bargaining between CPs to overcome tragedy of common effect which also improves utility. Applying both these interventions, much higher utilities are obtained than the neutral regime for all CPs and ISP in both symmetric as well as asymmetric case. We would like to thank our sponsor Sefibra for funding this project. Finally, we would like to thank the audience.